Nickel silver Mail Chord German silver Argentin New silver Nickel brass Alberta Alpaca Or Electrum is a copper alloy with nickel and often zinc. The usual formulation is 60% copper, 20% nickel and 20% zinc. Nickel silver is named for its silvery appearance, but it contains no elemental silver unless platted. The name German silver refers to its development by 19th century German metal workers in imitation of the Chinese alloy known as Paktong. All modern, commercially important nickel silvers contain significant amounts of zinc and are sometimes considered a subset of brass. History Nickel silver was first known and used in China. During the Qing Dynasty, it was smuggled into various parts of the East Indies. Despite a government ban on the export of nickel silver, it became known in the West from imported wares called by Tong or Pak Tong, for which the silvery metal color was used to imitate sterling silver. According to Berthold Laufer, it was identical with Carson E, one of the seven metals recognized by Jabir ibn Hayyan. In Europe, consequently, it was at first called Pak Tong, which is about the way Pai Ti Ung is pronounced in the Cantonese dialect. The earliest European mention of Pak Tong occurs in the year 1597. For then until the end of the 18th century there are references to it as having been exported from Canton to Europe. German imitations of Pak Tong, however, began to appear from about 1750 onward. In 1770 the Seoul Metal Works were able to produce a similar alloy. In 1823 a German competition was held to perfect the production process. The goal was to develop an alloy that possessed the closest visual similarity to silver. The brothers Henniger in Berlin and Ernst August Geithner in Schneeberg independently achieved this goal. The manufacturer Berndorf named the trademark brand Alpaca, which became widely known in Northern Europe for nickel silver. In 1830 the German process of manufacture was introduced into England, while exports of Paktong from China gradually stopped. That is why today the alloy has lost its original name and is generally known as German silver. In 1832, a form of German silver was also developed in Birmingham, England. After 1840, the development of electroplating caused nickel silver to become widely used. It formed an ideal, strong and bright substrate for the plating process. It was also used unplated in applications such as cheaper grades of cutlery. Uses Nickel silver first became popular as a base metal for silver-plated cutlery and other silverware, notably the electro-plated wares called EPN. It is used in zippers, better quality keys, costume jewelry, for making musical instruments, and is preferred for the track in electrically powered model railway layouts, as its oxide is conductive. It is widely used in the production of coins. Its industrial and technical uses include marine fittings and plumbing fixtures for its corrosion resistance, and heating coils for its high electrical resistance. In the 19th century, particularly after 1868, Plains Indian jewelers were able to easily acquire sheets of German silver. They used them to cut, stamp, and cold hammer a wide range of accessories and also horse gear. Continuing into the present, Plains metal smiths have used German silver for pendants, pectorals, bracelets, armbands, hair plates, conchas, earrings, belt buckles, neck eye slides, stick pins, douche tuhs, and tiaras. Nickel silver is the metal of choice among contemporary QR and Pawnee metal smiths in Oklahoma. Many of the metal fittings on modern higher-end equine harness and tack are of nickel silver. Early in the 20th century, German silver was used by automobile manufacturers before the advent of steel or sheet metal. For example, the famous Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost of 1907 Seven. After about 1920, its use became widespread for pocket knife bolsters, due to its machinability and corrosion resistance. 
Prior to this point, the most common metal was iron. Musical instruments, including the flute, saxophone, trumpet, and French horn, can be made of nickel silver. Many professional level French horns are entirely made of nickel silver. Some saxophone manufacturers, such as Carlwer, offer saxophones made of nickel silver. These are far rarer than traditional lacquered brass saxophones. Student level flutes and piccolos are also made of silver plated nickel silver. Although upper level models are likely to use sterling silver, it is said to produce a bright and powerful sound quality. An additional benefit is that nickel silver is harder and has more corrosion resistance than brass. Because of its harder property, it is the most commonly used material for woodwind keys. Most clarinets, flutes, oboes and similar wind instruments have nickel silver keys, normally silver plated. It is used to produce the tubes onto which oboe reeds are tied. Many parts of brass instruments are made of nickel silver, such as tubes, braces of valve mechanism, trombone slide of many manufacturers offer lightweight nickel silver option for faster slide action and weight balance. It was used in the construction of the National Tricone Resophonic Guitar. The frets of guitar, mandolin, banjo, bass, and related string instruments are typically made of nickel silver. Nickel silver is sometimes used as ornamentation on the Great Highland Bagpipe. Fraudulent users, counterfeiters have used nickel silver to produce coins and medallions purporting to be silver rounds, generally in an attempt to trick unsuspecting buyers into paying prices based on the spot price of silver. The metal has also been used to produce counterfeit Morgan dollars. Nickel silver fraud has included the production of replica bullion bars marked nickel silver or German silver in weights of one troy ounce. They are sold without notification that they contain no elemental silver. Toxicity. According to the Merck Manual, prolonged contact of copper alloys with acidic food or beverages can leach out the copper and cause toxicity. Long-term, low doses can lead to cirrhosis. 